I sit down at the 9-foot Yamaha Concert Grand. I tinkle a few keys and play a few soft chords as the cameramen get in position. I feel my nerves stretching tight, the locusts beginning the rumblings prior to taking flight in my stomach. The lights dim, and a single follow spot hits Wendy in the middle of the stage. This evening, I'm honored to be joined on stage by a wonderful musician and songwriter to whom I owe a great, great deal. He's nominated tonight for Song of the Year for the piece we're going to play for you now. Ladies and gentlemen, Zach Fluitt. D whole note in the bass, mezzo piano. Once again in the bass and octaves. Add the D minor tonic chord above high C in the right hand. There they are on the monitor, the cellos murmuring that same low D. I play the distinctive 16th note, first, third, first in the treble, then into the downbeat grace note, fourth to the fifth as the cellos in my left hand move together to the B flat in the bass. We're playing, I turned around. Zach Fluitt's rock star dreams crashed one fateful night at the Grammys when he broke his hand on his lead singer's nose. But a decade later, he's back, trying to escape his old demons as he careens through the madness that is music's biggest night. Written by industry insider Joe Anderson, the music business gets skewered and face the music, a hilarious take on one man's battle to dance to his own tune. 